Okay, so we've got a thin film problem where we've got our thin film here of soap and the index of refraction of the film is 1.43 and it's surrounded by air on both sides. Okay, so light comes in like this and wave A reflects and then wave B reflects and those are the only two waves we're interested in. Alright, so first thing we have to do is figure out the, uh, the phase shift due to wave A. Now wave A reflects here off of the soap um, and uh, we're dealing with reflection not transmission so wave A reflects off the soap and the soap has a higher index so it experiences a phase shift of half a wave. Wave B has two sources of uh, path difference or phase shift, right? It's got this reflection. Uh, however, the reflection, it's in the soap and it's reflecting off of air, a lower index. And so there's no reflection phase shift, but it also covers this extra distance in the film, right? The film has a thickness, a thickness T. So that the number of waves in the film is 2T over the wavelength in the film, which is 2TN over the base wavelength. Okay, so there's our phase shift for B, that many waves, and this is our phase shift for A. Now, we're asked for light that is strongly reflected. Okay, strongly reflected. That means that we're dealing with constructive interference. And so we're going to set our, uh, our phase difference, delta B minus delta A, we're going to set that equal to 0, 1, 2, and so on, that many waves. All right, so let's start. Uh, let's start with the first condition. We'll set delta B minus delta A equal to 0 waves and see where that takes us. So 2tn over lambda naught minus a half is equal to zero. All right, so that means 2tn over lambda naught is equal to a half. Lambda naught is 4tn, which is 2,002 nanometers. Well, we're only interested in, in light that uh, is between 400 and 700 nanometers. So that's no good. Let's try the next solution. The next solution would be delta B minus delta A is equal to 1. Well, when we solve that, we get 2TN over lambda naught is equal to 3 halves, which means lambda naught is 4TN over 3. Well, that's 667 nanometers. That's in the visible light range between 400 and 700 nanometers, so that's a good solution. Let's keep going and see if we can find any other solutions. So we're going to go to 2TN minus lambda naught over a half. Sorry, 2TN over lambda naught minus a half is equal to 2, which gives us 2TN over lambda naught is equal to 5 halves. So lambda naught is 4TN over 5, which is 400 nanometers, which is right on the edge of acceptable. All right, now my guess is we're not going to get any more, but let's just confirm that. 2TN minus lambda naught over, 2TN over lambda naught minus a half is equal to 3. That gives us 2TN over lambda naught is equal to 7 halves. Lambda naught is 4TN over 7, which is 286 nanometers. And that's a bad one. All right, so clearly anything we do, if we set it equal to 4 or 5 or 6, lambda is just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And so these are the only two solutions that uh, are meaningful, the 667 and the 400 nanometers. So that's going to be our answer.